Hello Aquarius, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. We're going to have a look at the energy surrounding you at this full moon in Sagittarius. Um, the full moon is all about um, releasing, purging, letting go of old disappointments. But in Sagittarius it's particularly around um, dreams and wishes that have been unfulfilled. Okay. Um, at the same time, Mercury enters its home sign of Gemini. So we're entering in a new phase of communication of our thoughts and our beliefs. Um, and Gemini is particularly focused on intellect and higher understanding. So um, the best way I can explain this energy is imagine being able to look at things that once caused you grief and heartache um, to only now see possibilities and opportunities. Okay, like the new adventure. Um, and if you can put yourself in that mindset, and I know Aquarius from your last love reading, there was betrayal and hurt, um, and that came up quite clearly. But if you can change your perspective and use this full moon energy to its potential, you can really start to see your life in a new way. Okay, so let's have a look at the energy surrounding you at this full moon. Thank you, angels. Thank you, my spirit guides, my higher self. Please give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aquarius and this full moon in Sagittarius. Please show me what does Aquarius need to know. Okay. Six of Cups with the Queen of Fire in reverse. It's a fire sign that's no longer in your life. Uh, Aries. Leo Sagittarius, it's a soulmate. You also have the King of Earth, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, two of Pentacles needing to make a decision about finances. of earth both flipped off the table a lot of energy around you okay Aquarius so you've got a couple here straight away which is obviously the heartbreak I think that I saw in the last reading and a child an earth sign child I think I saw that too so it's the same kind of theme still playing out um at the bottom of the deck you have the two of fire so it was all about um, being conflict battle with someone needing to make a decision okay but you do have as I said the king and queen of fire now remember I said last time I saw that as um, I saw that as a couple the queens in the reverse so whoever this person is if this was the third party it's no longer in your life if this was your partner and you um, were unfaithful unfortunately that person has left and they're disconnected emotionally um, or if it was the reverse and she did that to you, then you haven't have asked her to leave. She just kind of left. Now, um, the two of fire talks about, um, needing to make a decision, being at conflict. Okay. And you've been in this kind of dreamy illusion state because you're entering this month with the six of water. So the six of water, six of cups talks about, um, childlike energy like soulmate energy whoever this person is they're, they're a karmic partner to you okay you're meant to connect with them you're meant to have this connection for a reason and you're meant to go through this lesson for a reason or this heartbreak I know that it never seems that way at the time but it's like what I was saying before at the beginning of this video if you can release and purge and let go of old disappointments and expectations from people then you're going to open yourself up to really beautiful new possibilities Okay, and I say that because in your future you have a earth sign coming in around you. Now this could just be a friend that's a support network or this could be someone that's um, um, a family member, someone who has their shit together. <laughs> okay, the king of earth is like 
Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they're grounded. They are the king for a reason. They have been through a lot of life lessons. They kind of really um, um, see things in a different light. They've got wisdom. They are grounded. They are comfort. Okay. Um, so all this fire energy um, and look, the signs are interchangeable. It's going to be different for all of you, but you've got some comforting energy around you. Okay. The king of fire, the two of earth needing to make a decision when it came to practical matters regarding love or regarding your home. And there's a earth sign child that's involved. Um, that decision's been made and that fire sign, whether it's male or female, they're gone. Okay. I don't know whether they're gone permanently, but they're definitely not in your immediate surrounds right now. And I know that this hasn't been easy, but it's been for the betterment of the child that's involved. If this was a custody battle, um, this queen of fire, um, she's gone she's not coming back for a little while if it's something if she's the mother of your child look she just needs to sort herself out okay she's not in the right headspace um and if this is you and you're the the king of fire and you've you've left after betraying your partner um she's got comfort around her just know that okay um so you're still processing through this i don't see healing energy coming through you're processing as much as you can but just know that um, there's going to be a, a better change and shift in energy for you again coming at the new moon. Okay. I have additional guidance code for the sign of Aquarius. You've got two. Repetition and ready but waiting holding a dove in her hand I always notice the doves obviously because it's my spirit guide um, but I'll read for you the cards as I see them okay from the book repetition I think this is going to be about cycles okay this is going to be an important one for you about letting go um, and it says a sense that history is somehow repeating <laughs> as this happened before Aquarius a chance to do things differently and perhaps secure a better outcome. To work with or break a cycle, you need to recognize it. Release stress, tension or anger before it builds into a storm. It may be necessary to walk away from a challenging personality. Difficulty breaking a habit or a pattern of thinking. Establish a positive routine. It's exactly what I was saying to you before, okay, about purging, releasing, letting go of disappointments and about seeing things from a different light. In this particular message of the card, it's talking to you about, you can see the cycles of the moon as well, about routine is going to help keep you grounded and out of your head. Ready but waiting. Okay. You ready? There is no rush. Bide your time and be ready to act. <laughs> Observe and build your stores of knowledge, energy and resources. Resist being goaded to act before you are ready. You have not missed your chance. Prepare and be poised for an opportunity. What was I saying about new opportunities? Conf um, confidence is not being certain of success. It is being prepared to give something your best shot. Wow. So there you go. I hope you have found this reading helpful. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back.